On the The War on Racism in Islam Discrimination between human beings because of their color or ethnicity is a major problem that disrupts societies nowadays. Recent studies show that racism is the top motivation for hate crimes, more than 60%. People all over the world need to unite and fight against racism if they aim for safe and stable societies. Can the abidance by the teachings of Islam contribute to this fight? In this article, we will shed the light on this interesting topic. The Origin of Racism When do you think racism began? Two or three thousand years ago. Actually, the Quran tells us that racism is a deadly spiritual disease that has existed since the creation of Adam. When Allah created Adam, he ordered the angels to prostrate to Adam as a symbol of showing honor to him. They all immediately followed God's order except for Satan, Iblis. He justified his rejection by the fact that God created him from fire and created Adam from clay. In his opinion, fire was superior to clay. Therefore, this racist way of thinking caused Satan to deserve the eternal punishment of God and deprivation of his mercy. Here is the story in the chapter as mentioned in Surah Sad. So mention, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I am going to create a human being from clay. So when I have proportioned him and breathed into him of my, a created and soul, then fall down to him in prostration. So the angels prostrated, all of them entirely, except Ibbles. He was arrogant and became among the disbelievers. Allah said, O oh Ibbles, what prevented you from prostrating to that which I created with my hands? Were you arrogant, then, or were you, already, among the haughty? He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Allah said, Then get out of it, i.e., paradise, for indeed, you are expelled. Quran 38,71-78 Remember when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a man from clay, and he is Adam and peace be upon him. So once I have proportioned his form, made his appearance right and blown my spirit into him, prostrate to him. So the angels obeyed the command of their Lord, so all of them prostrated by way of greeting and honor, and none of them remained except that they prostrated to Adam. Besides Iblis who was too arrogant to prostrate. And through his being arrogant to the command of his Lord, he was from the disbelievers. Allah said, O oh Iblis, what stopped you from prostrating to Adam whom I created with my hands? Did pride stop you from prostrating or were you arrogant and haughty over your Lord from before? Iblis said, I am better than Adam. You created me from fire and you created him from clay. And fire is a more noble substance than clay. Allah said to Iblis, Get out of paradise, because you are accursed and reviled. And you are to be rejected from paradise until the day of recompense, which is the day of judgment. Iblis said, Give me respite and do not make me die until the day you raise your servants. Allah said, You are amongst those given respite. Until the day of the known time which is fixed for your destruction. Iblis said, I swear by your power and domination that I shall misguide all of the children of Adam. Except whom you protect from my misguiding and you have chosen to worship you alone. Allah said, The truth is from me and the truth is what I say. I do not say anything besides it. On the day of judgment, I shall fill hell with you and your children, O Iblis, and those from the children of Adam who follow you in your disbelief, all of you. Surah Sad 71-85 Is arrogance acceptable in Islam? This story tells us that there is no room for any racism in Islam and that any feeling of arrogance is completely unacceptable and can lead to severe punishment. Ibn Masud, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the Prophet, said. He who has, in his heart, an ant's weight of arrogance will not enter Jannah. Someone said. A man likes to wear beautiful clothes and shoes? Messenger of Allah, said, Allah is beautiful, he loves beauty. Arrogance means ridiculing and rejecting the truth and despising people. Hadith. Is our difference something bad? In the Quran, God says it unambiguously that he has created us differently. That is the undeniable fact that we all should accept and cope with. Moreover, it is something that we should ponder. And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and your colors. Indeed in that are signs for those of knowledge. Quran 30 22 From among his great signs which prove his power and oneness is that he created the heavens and the earth and your different languages and skin colors. Indeed, in the aforementioned are proofs and evidences for the people of knowledge and insight. AR Rum 22 in the below hadith, the Prophet related the observed difference in colors and traits to the beginning of creation. God created Adam from a handful which he took from the whole of the earth. 
So the children of Adam are in accordance with the earth, some red, some white, some black, some a mixture, also smooth and rough, bad, and good. Hadith. Shall our difference affect our relations? The question now is, does such difference allow us to react in a racist way and treat one another disrespectfully? In these verses, Allah, the All-Wise, gives us one face of the wisdom behind such differences. And it is he who has made you successors upon the earth and has raised some of you above others in degrees, of rank, that he may try you through what he has given you. Indeed, your Lord is swift in penalty, but indeed, he is forgiving and merciful. Quran 6 165 Allah is the one who made you successors of those who came before you on earth, so that you inhabit it after them. He has raised some of you in rank over others, in terms of physical form, livelihood and other aspects, in order to test you through what he has given you. Your Lord, O Messenger, is quick in delivering justice, since anything that is approaching is close. And he is also forgiving and compassionate towards those of his servants who repent to him. al 165 Read this also. And we did not send before you, O Muhammad, any of the messengers except that they ate food and walked in the markets. And we have made some of you, people, as trial for others, will you have patience? And ever is your Lord, seeing. Quran 25 20 O Messenger! All the messengers I sent before you were humans who would eat food and walk in the markets. You are not a unique messenger in that sense. O people! Have made you tests for each other by granting you varying degrees of affluence, poverty, health and sickness. Throughout these different circumstances, will you bear whatever I afflict you with so that I may reward you upon your patience? Your Lord is ever aware of those who bear patience and those who do not, and those who obey Him and those who disobey Him. al 20 Our difference is part of the test. Thus, this difference is an integral part of this worldly exam. Our reaction to our differences is the subject of this exam. Will the one with a blessing be thankful and not show arrogance towards others? Will the one deprived of a blessing be patient and accept the decree of God? Read also this beautiful verse, which mentions another wisdom behind our difference. O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and aware. Quran 49 13 O people! Indeed, I have created you from one male, your father Adam, and one female, your mother Eve. Therefore, your lineage is the same, so some of you should not take pride in lineage over others. Then, I made you into many nations and dispersed tribes, so that you may recognize one another, not so that you take pride in them, because pride can only be due to Allah consciousness. Indeed, the most noble from among you according to Allah is the one who is most mindful of him. Indeed, Allah is aware of your conditions, knowing of what levels of perfection and deficiency you are on, nothing is hidden from him. Al-Hujurat 13 This verse shows how Islam encourages a meaningful dialogue between nations, based upon the fact that the only criterion for differentiating people in the sight of God is righteousness and piety. In the materialistic age that we live, people always tend to judge us by our shapes and colors, but for God, things are different. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, Messenger of Allah, said. Allah does not look at your figures, nor at your attire, but he looks at your hearts and accomplishments. Hadith Final Comment Malcolm X, the black American human rights activist whose heart tasted the beauty of Islam, said in his letter from Mecca. America needs to understand Islam because this is the one religion that erases from its society the race problem. During the past 11 days here in the Muslim world, I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and slept on the same rug, while praying to the same God, with fellow Muslims whose eyes were the bluest of blue, whose hair was the blondest of blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. And in the words and the deeds of the white Muslims, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims of Nigeria, Sudan, and Ghana. 7 Inspiring Quotes on Islam and Muslims Isn't it time to discover more about the beauty of Islam?